Hello, my name is Dr. Piru Dawan, and today in this video, we will discuss about Create9 and deeply understand its effects. What is Create9 and where does it form? And how can we control it? So, let us start with this video. Create9 is a waste material formed in the muscles, and it forms throughout the day. If your kidneys work properly, Create9 will be excreted in the urine. But when kidneys get any kind of damage, whether it is due to BP, sugar, or PKD. This Create9 does not come out with urine. If the kidney's functioning is getting lower, the Create9 clearance would also get lower. So the Create9 starts accumulating inside the body. You can know about Create9 with your KFT reports. Create9 value helps us understand how well your kidney is working. If toxins are elevating in the body, it means the kidney is not doing well, and we can imagine the damage that happened in the kidney. So, basically to find out how well your kidneys are working, you need to practice your medical tests. Keeping an eye on Create9 levels is important in kidney patients as it helps us understand kidneys' health better. Now the question is, what should we do when Create9 is increasing? How should we deal with high Create9 and urea levels? There are two ways you can reduce your Create9 levels. First is to control its production in the body. Second is to increase your Create9 clearance through urine. And if you follow these two ways, you can reduce your Create9 levels. So, we have to work on both simultaneously. Now, let's recall when I said creatine is a protein in nature. That is, if our body gets more protein than required, then the more Create9 will form. That is the waste created by muscles. That is why all patients with kidney failure have to control their Create9 levels by reducing their protein intake and should only take protein required to perform bodily functions. If you are eating non-veg like fish, meat, and eggs, means if you are eating more protein, which will convert into Create9 and Create9 levels will rise in the blood. So this rise of Create9 levels is not because of kidney damage, but because you are taking more protein than required our body so your body produced more Create9 and elevated its levels. So you must have understood that more protein intake results in more Create9 levels, and you should immediately stop excess protein intake. Whatever other nutrients you get through other foods will convert into protein to provide energy, so you would not require more protein. So we suggest you to cut down on lentils, extra pulses, and non-vegetarian food items, as well as cut down your dairy products like cheese to control protein intake and create nine production. So this was the first thing you have to do. But until your create nine clearance, create nine excretion. Through urine does not increase, kidney damage will continue to increase. And if not controlled, you will have to undergo dialysis. So, the second step is to improve your Create9 clearance to improve kidney health. For that, you have to improve kidney functioning, as it is the kidney's work to remove Create9 from the body. So, when you improve kidney health and functioning, Create9 clearance will also improve, and more Create9 clearance will lower its level in the blood. To improve Create9 clearance, you have to understand kidney failure. And why our kidneys got damaged in the first place? because there is always some factor behind kidney damage. Well, in 80% of cases, the reason for kidney damage is blood pressure or high sugar levels. High sugar levels for long periods damage kidney functioning, which increases create nine levels. So you have to find out the root cause of your kidney damage. And if at least you control the root cause of kidney damage, it will prevent further damage to the kidneys. If your create nine level is six milligrams per deciliter, even then, you may not notice any symptoms, but at this level, 80% of your kidney is not working. So the first thing is to prevent any rise in Create9 levels by controlling the root cause of kidney damage. In step number one, we have to control the main culprit of kidney failure, and for that we have to identify the major cause of kidney damage in a particular case. Suppose you have a history of hypertension and you are a non-diabetic and your kidney is sinking that give us clear indication that the high BP is the main cause of kidney failure. This size of kidney can be easily observed in ultrasound report. If the size of kidney is smaller than 10 cm, or we can say 100 millimeters, we can consider it as a small kidney. Now, if the size of the kidney is normal, but you are diabetic and you have no history of BP, that means that the patient is suffering from diabetic nephropathy and type 2 diabetes, 
it is the main cause of kidney damage. And his high BP and sugar are the major almost 80% cause of all kidney failure cases. For that, first eliminate the root cause of kidney damage, so that kidney can revive its function by gradually improving its working. So your kidney will improve when it does not get any further damage and kidney starts clearing more creatinine through urine. Now you must know, our kidney also has the ability to improve its functioning. In cases when you have to remove one of the kidneys due to any serious injury. Still, the levels of creatinine and urea do not increase. But how could it be? Because the person has only one kidney, the working must have reduced to 50%. But still, you will see no difference because the kidney can improve its functioning with the help of the undamaged part of the kidney. And we use this ability of the kidney in every kidney failure patient. So, when we start kidney treatment, kidney function improves, create nine clearance increases and create nine level drops in blood, which you will see in KFT reports. For example, if create nine level was 8 mg slash DL, it drops gradually with treatment. Now, I will show you some reports and introduce you to a kidney patient to get a clear idea of how things work in patients. Still, if you have any queries, you can contact us on the number given below. You can talk with our doctors or can meet me by taking an appointment. With this, I would like to say goodbye. See you in the next video.